Good evening, I'm a bad person. I'm going to teach you how to search one of these optic value packs. For those of you that aren't super familiar, there's been rumors online that you can search optic value packs and figure out what the last two cards are. Theoretically meaning that you could search and find the most valuable card in these packs and then filter your packs accordingly. Is there truth to this? Yes, absolutely. It's 100% true. You can say with almost sure shit certainty that every single person that you've seen on TikTok or Twitter or YouTube or Twitch or wherever the fuck you consume media, every single one of those motherfuckers that opened up one of these packs and said, oh my god, I found a downtown, knew exactly, exactly that they were going to find a downtown in that pack. And I'm going to show you how they did it so you can do it too. Because I'm an evil person and I have a hole in my soul. Step one. Get a value pack, find them at Walmart, Target, online, wherever. Step two, take your pack and find that last card in the pack by feeling around a little bit in the back. You'll be able to kind of latch onto it and you'll feel it right there. That's the last card in the pack. The last card in the pack is not the downtown, so you want to shuffle it down by pushing all the other cards upwards towards the top of the pack while shuffling that last card down towards the base of the pack container. What this will do will shuffle the uh, second to last card, which is the downtown hit spot, all the way up to the top so you can use this white see-through area to look at the card and understand if it's a downtown or not. How will you know if it's a downtown? You look at the back of the cards from the other parts of the set. But the back of a downtown looks like this. You have a line and then text big fat text you will see this text there do you see at the top of this card any text is there any text right there there is not now as an unscrupulous soulless shithead motherfucker i can go on and i can sell this resell it online on eBay because I know it doesn't have a big hit and I can make my money back and I can go buy more of these packs until I find one that does have the hit. That's the one I open, then I sell that card because I'm a heartless scumbag who only cares about money. There you go.